Hello everyone, and here we are again back in Minecraft Arcadia. More precisely, we are here in Whipstitch Farm. I just wanted to start the episode off with uh, a quick look at the uh, the chicken farm, which you can see is um, chugging along nicely. It's been populated a bit, and is now, as you can hear, producing quite a few eggs. And a little bit of design work has been done, I think. I don't remember doing some of this. So, all looking good. And if you look in here, plenty of chicken and chicken byproducts being produced. So, all looking good. Okay, so, right. now, I've got a few bits and pieces I want to do this episode and the uh, the biggest one is I want to actually start working on some of the shops that I said I would build. I re reserved these uh, plots quite early on in the game and haven't done anything with them so I'm feeling a touch guilty. Uh, so I've been on here and I've done a little bit of work as you guys have probably seen by now. I, I should have started this off with a, a compressed cutscene of the first bit of the build I want to do here today which is I want to get the items that are being created in the mob drop up here and we're going to do that using an item elevator and I started that off as you uh, probably saw earlier um, I also had to uh, lower the mob drop a little bit because it wasn't actually guaranteeing a kill of all the mobs so I've come down here now, right down here to uh, Bedrock, which is a pain to work with because the Bedrock keeps on getting in the way. First of all, I wanted to put this stopper over there and have the circuit around it. Just one sec. I'm recording right now. Hello, I'm recording right now, and that, that didn't work, so I ended up having to build the circuitry over here. And that yeah, more or less fits in, though. Keep on getting a face full of gravel, that was loads of fun. So I'm going to come back here and tidy this up later on, but it's not actually required at this point. Just a quick run through of the changes. The mobs drop down there onto those hoppers, as, as you see there, and anything that gets caught goes into this dropper. And this dropper, let's put something in there just to show. Like that, the circuitry fires everything out of the dropper up onto this hopper. As you can see, that dropper is now empty, and the hoppers are all chained to each other. So um, the items will make their way down here quite quickly. Probably got this a bit backed up now, actually, thinking about it. I wonder when. Uh... There you go, loads of items in there, loads of items in there. Okay. And loads of items in there just waiting to make their way up to the top. And that's going to be the exercise for today, is to get those up to the top. And the first thing we're going to want to do is make a tower of droppers. And we're going to do that here. Yep, okay, let's get those droppers on. I was trying to work out where that spider was coming from. It's probably from the wall behind me. Which is perfectly fine, just as long as it doesn't land on my head, I don't mind. So, this, we're going to start off with a tower full of droppers. I'm going to need to take that torch out. Uh, interesting to think, I know in my luck I've probably used this particular corner to light up all the way up here, but uh, we'll live with that. So there we go, past the, uh, the, uh, the drop. Still going up, hope I've got enough droppers. I did calculate this, but yeah. Come on. Oh, we're up to earth. One more. There we go. Right, one more. All right. And that now gets us up to the top here. And I think what we'll do here is we're just going to place down a couple of chests just to make sure that we're getting the items up here. So there we go. Two chests up the top there. Now, what we're going to do is what we want to do is all that stuff is going to end up in that chest there. And. So to do that, we need to head back down and work on the circuitry, which is going to be a bit, uh, well, it's actually a relatively simple circuit. It's just going to be, you know, sort of rather 
magnified. So, right, now we get in here. We're going to have to take these stairs out so I can get in. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this circuitry here, as we saw in the last one. So I'm going to need a comparator and that repeater. And I've just noticed I'm one short on the comparator. So for now, I'm going to steal one from over here, and I'll come back later on and put it back. We've got enough items to uh, uh, be going with. I'll just put a bit of. I'll just put a bit of. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Never mind. Or maybe it did work. Okay, right. I'm quite happy with that if it works. Okay, so. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to do the the whole looping signal thing again. Okay, which is. We need to send um, a signal to the dr when the dropper has an item in it. We need to send a signal to the dropper saying, "Hey, I want you to uh, um, send an item up." So we'll start off with that. Yes, I know I'm using that the wrong tool, but uh, just for a sec, it won't hurt. Okay, so right, we'll start off with that. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to put a where's my other side? We're going to put a block at the end here. And we are going to put a torch on the side here, and a comparator here, and that comparator is going to go to, just one sec, it's amazing how fast these things go through the mind. <laughs> yep, start, okay, yep, that's right, correct, okay. I'm starting to doubt myself. Okay, and that's going to go to another piece of andesite, which is going to need a torch over it. So I'm going to have to clear a bit of this, bit more of this out, so I can get in there. And we're going to be doing a lot of digging here to get this working right. In fact, we are going to be digging these three all the way up to the surface. So might as well start with that, haven't I? So they will be working all the way up to the surface because what we need to do here is we need to put a torch in there and then we're going to stagger this uh, this up to the surface by uh, putting uh, that there and then we're going to put another block here with a torch here and another block here with a torch here and another block here with a torch here and so on right I'll do all that later on right now let's just do the main circuitry okay so right so we need to get the information from the cur we need to get the information from the dropper to this block to say hey send me a signal back I'm ready to do work here so that we put a comparator in there and we make it a negative one and we put a repeater in there and that repeater amplifies the signal and sends it out. But uh, of course, we need to turn that now off. That's fired once, so we need to set this signal, this signal going back uh, to the comparator to say, "Okay, right, you've sent that signal out once. We need to send it out a second time." And we do that like this: we put that there, we put a repeater there, and we put a piece of redstone there. So as you can see that signal is now going around and if we look at this top one here items are going in and they're getting stored in this hopper dropper here because so far we haven't got the signal up any further and that's what I'm going to do now and I'm going to do it off camera and I will see you all in a moment right here we are uh, we have got the, uh, the the droppers all wired up all the way up to the top there and I've got a few items in my inventory what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna stick them into this hopper here and we can just watch it send this stuff up to the top all the blinking lights all the way up I think that's gonna look really nice 
So we'll just follow this up here, just make sure it's all working. And away it goes. Linking all the way to the top. Don't know why I did that voice. I just felt like doing that voice. I have no idea why I did that voice. And at the top. Let's have a look at the chest. And yep, yeah, that's starting to very nicely fill up with stuff. Okay, now there is a drawback to this particular uh, elevator method, okay, which is the fact that we are just using a signal at the bottom. So that's uh, that one signal at the bottom says, hey, I've got an item. Let's all fire an item up to the top. So that what's going to happen here is the, 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 the first time an item turns up, it's going to get fired up into this one here. The second time it will get fired up into this one here. The third time it will get fired up into the case. So what we're going to end up is a chain of these droppers all having at least one item in them. All the way up to the top. So if you imagine that's 60. That, well actually that is 60 droppers high. Um, it's only going to be on the 61st item comes in the bottom here. That we're actually going to start getting items out the top. But given the fact that this is as long as it's actually producing it's going to be producing dozens if not hundreds of items a day that's not really going to be a problem that's going to it just means it's going to take a while for the items to process through the system which is perfectly fine for this farm but if you were actually wanted this stuff to uh, to get to the top immediately this is not the one for you but uh, I, I'm quite happy with this and it actually looks really pretty when it's running as well, so yes, yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of nice stuff to this. I'm I'm quite happy with this, and items are getting to the top. They are ending up in this chest here. By the looks of it, yeah, I think this has actually stopped firing items up now. Uh, so it's going to take a little while for the stuff I put in the bottom to actually make its way to the top, but that's not the end of the world. So there we go, uh, an item elevator now. The next step for this is going to be building a sorter for that item um, to get it, the different stuff into different chests. So I want, you know, I want the, uh, the bones to be the separate chests from the rotten flesh to the string to the gunpowder, and finally a, a, a final chest saying, "Hey, this is everything else. Help yourself." And then, and that's going to be the fun bit. I'm going to build a shop around this. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But I don't really have time to do it today, unfortunately, so we're going to stop there. And there we go. A very nice, easy, simple item elevator. You can make it too high, you can make it 60 high, you can make it 256 high. It's just going to work, and it works very easily. So, notice this one I logged on today. Um, another glass pyramid. quite like glass pyramids, they look nice. And this is going to be a 4040 project enchanting store. So let's just have a quick sneaky peeky in here. 4040, famous for his fortification, seems to be branching out a little bit and uh, making something new. So I'm presuming this is going to be um, an enchanting services store of some description. Probably going to do the enchanting down here. We'll see. Looking forward to this. 4040 does some good builds, so that's going to be fun to see. And of course, we have Farfetch'd there. I have an idea for Farfetch'd. I think you guys are going to like it. We'll have to see. So that's that there. And let's have a quick sneak peek around, see if there's anything new. If there isn't, I'm going to cut away now. If there is, I'll show you it when I see it. Okay, I don't recall seeing this before. What do we have here? Oh, right. Somebody likes their warm environments, do they? Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm taking this is going to be somebody's home. Because I don't know of a build that looks like this. And I've got 
obviously they like the sound of lava and fire. Good lord. Okay. Oh, I wonder whose this is. I'm going to be interested to see what's happening here. Right. Seems to be the only... Oh. Yeah, this seems to be the only new thing I can see on the server. So, uh, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get a few more resources, and then we're going to go and make the uh, the item sorter uh, for mobs bits. And next episode, what we'll do is we'll build a shop around it. Oh, I keep on forgetting about this place. We need to build a structure up the top here, so it's more visible. I do like this. Uh, all the nice blues and the, the calming water and the sounds and the trickling. And all the prismarine and sea lanterns. And for once they work really well. There we go, back on the other side. Right, okay, I'm going to cut out at the moment, for the moment. I'll be back in a second with a load more resources and we shall build our sorter okay here we are back at mobs bits i've done a little bit of work off camera while getting some resources first of all i've increased the item elevator up by three and then i put this hopper chain across into this chest here as you can see we're getting a few bits and pieces in there now that's going to be our catch-all, so anything that we don't put in the sorter will end up in that chest. I'll probably move it later on, but it will do there for now. What I want to sort out now is this chest here, which I want to put uh, rotten flesh in. And uh, So in order to do that, we're going to build a node of a sorter, which is exactly the same sort of thing as we did uh, in the last episode with the chicken factory. So. You should be fairly familiar with this by now. Uh, and to do that, we just build a very simple structure behind uh, this, which is, looks like this. Yeah, okay, so that's the structure in place. And then we want to put a bit of circuitry in. I've built that slightly wrong. Hold on a sec. So, actually, we want to build it like this. There we go. That looks right. Okay, that's that's right because what we want to do here is we want to make the circuitry that looks like this. So we're going to want a comparator, a repeater, and some redstone dust. And the comparator goes there. And then we have redstone dust down here and down here to a repeater here, which operates a torch uh, here. So that torch is turning off this hopper. And now what we want to do in here is put an item filter. So we just build this up to the point where it actually lets one through. There we go, 1918, 1918, 1918, there, like that, okay? So what's happening here is that uh, there is enough, um, enough rotten flesh in that uh, sorter for this comparator to light up and just about send a signal through to this repeater and that last piece of rotten flesh when it drops in sends the signal through which turns this torch off which allows this hopper to push something through so uh, the items fall through that way and then they end up in here along with a few other bits and pieces because um, stuff was being filtered through while I was playing around but uh, now we know, um, you know if we put this, put this string in here it will not end up in here. It will, in fact, end up in here. That's exactly what we want. And if we go and put some rotten flesh in... Oh, do you see that piece of gunpowder flash through there? Uh, put the rotten flesh in, like that. It ends up in this chest. So there's our rotten flesh chest. Who were. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to repeat that for... 
uh, bones, for webs, and for spider's eyes. And then finally, I'll have to extend this a little bit longer. Finally, we're just going to have this one last chest which says, Here is everything else, help yourself. And that is the circuitry behind Mobs Bits. So I'm going to finish this off between episodes. And next episode, what we'll do is we'll spend a bit of time and actually do a design around this and try to get this looking nice. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft Arcadia. Thank you and good night. Thank <laughs> you.